This is the listening practice test, which resembles the international English language testing system listening tests. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work after each section. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers on the listening question booklet. At the end of the real test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers from the question booklet to an answer sheet. You should be prepared to do this with the practices. Now turn to section one of test three. Section one. In this section, you will hear a conversation between a student and a job hunting agent. First, look at questions one to ten. Now we shall begin. You should answer questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Now listen carefully and answer questions one to ten. Section one. Good morning. May I help you? Oh, good morning. Is this the student job center? Oh yes. Um. I was wondering if perhaps you could tell me a bit about the job. You know, the hotel recruitment program that offers a range of work at the hotels in the area. Of course, take a seat, please. I'll take you through some of what we have on offer. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second, and I'll get my pen. Okay. The first job is reception assistant. At the Parkview Hotel, the Parkview Hotel has quite an international flavour, so you'll need to speak at least two foreign languages. Sure, I can speak fluent French and Spanish, so that's no problem. Good, and many guests, of course, travel by car, and you may have to take their vehicles around to the car park, so you will need to have a valid driving license. And you will not be allowed to do the job if you haven't. Okay, I got that. Right, and they also say that basic computer skills, such as word processing, would be an advantage, although this isn't a requirement. Well, I just got my computer skills certificate, so I have no worries about that. This is quite a varied job, and in fact. I should point out that at certain times of the day, it would involve heavy lifting, when guest luggage arrives, or perhaps deliveries come in. Is that okay for you? Well, it's hard to say at this moment, but I'll bear that in mind when deciding whether to apply for this post. Sure. Another job is general assistant at the Lakeside Hotel. To be honest. The pay is rather low, but there are compensatory factors. For example, the hotel will provide you with all your meals while you're working, and they will also train you in all the aspects of the job, and then issue you with a certificate, which, of course, could be very valuable to you in the future. Oh, that sounds great. Now, the third job on offer. Is catering assistant at Hotel 98's Smart New Premises. As you know, this hotel is popular with exclusive travellers, and so you'll need to wear the distinctive staff uniform which you're provided with. Don't consider this job unless you're fairly flexible about when you work, 
as the hotel will require you to work nights for this job, and you will need to travel to and from the hotel, as it is situated just outside the city. Well, I'm afraid I can't manage that because of the lectures. Okay, I get the picture. So, which one will you prefer? Reception assistant at the Parkview Hotel or general assistant at the Lakeside Hotel? Well, I guess I still couldn't make up my mind right now. Can I have a few days to think about and go back to you later? That's no problem, and there are a few things I need to clarify with you. If you would like to apply for one of these jobs, you will need to follow the recruitment process. Mum. So the first thing you'll need to do is to fill in one of these, a personal information form. It's pretty straightforward and should only take you a few minutes. Once you've done that and handed it in, we'll give you a questionnaire about your skills. We then look through the information about you and pass on our recommendations to the relevant hotel. Yes, sure. You will then proceed to the next step of the process and attend a general course of training. This is designed to be helpful and realistic, so an important part of the course is role-play activities. That sounds interesting. Yes, indeed. And after that, the final step is that you will be contacted by the hotel you're going to work for, and they'll post you a video about themselves and the work involved. Watching this will constitute further and specific training for your job. Oh yes, I think I'm very clear now. Thank you for helping me. It's a pleasure. Bye. Bye. This is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.